Good day people, this is Mohit uh, once again with yet another tutorial on Adobe Flash Professional CS5. Uh, what we have on the stage is uh, an image on frame number one and two and three. So I've uh, actually pulled up three images. Uh, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to make a time-based uh, photo gallery, a photo slideshow. Okay. Uh, let's see upfront uh, what do we have uh, as a published preview we have a photo slideshow but uh, sadly it advances too fast to the next uh, frame that's because uh, flash gives us uh, a default uh, frames per second uh, of uh, 24 if I drop it down to 1 and uh, take uh, a published preview now you'll find that uh, it advances to the the next frame uh, after one single second so that's exactly what we were looking for uh, but I want to add yet another effect and that effect is uh, that whenever I mouse over the photo slideshow it should uh, halt a pause and whenever I should you know remove uh, my mouse pointer off uh, the slideshow it should resume let's see how we accomplish that let's um, get back to uh, the stage and uh, insert a new layer onto the timeline I'll call this layer BTN BTN button BTN okay let me make uh, the first uh, layer images layer invisible and uh, thereafter I uh, choose uh, the uh, rectangle tool and draw a rectangle onto the stage Uh, thereafter I want uh, the uh, rectangle to be the exact size as the stage so uh, the dimensions are 550 by 400 ok guys and uh, then I will be aligning it to the stage <coughs> sorry Thereafter, I will uh, convert this into a symbol, button symbol, okay. And uh, the next step is to drop uh, the uh, color out, or uh, I wish to make it transparent, for which I need to just uh, drop down the styles menu, choose alpha, and uh, alpha should be zero, that will make it transparent. So it's set at zero, which is fine. I'll give it an instance name of btn1 alright guys so uh, using this uh, transparent button by rendering the alpha zero I will be uh, attaching a mouse out and mouse over functions onto this uh, button uh, and I'll be pausing and resuming the slideshow let's see how I do that I'll choose the button and go on inside the actions panel click on code snippets and uh, see this is the code snippets panel it has uh, an event handlers section I double click on that and I choose the mouse over event double click on that it'll insert uh, some action script now what this uh, action script is doing is uh, whenever the btn1 or the button 1 the instance name of the button is moused over uh, flash uh, will display moused over uh, but that's not what I want so I just need to change this one single line and I will say use the uh, stop function so I'll say stop open and close parenthesis uh, semicolon okay so whenever uh, we uh, mouse over the uh, photo slide show should uh, pause and if you see here uh, an actions layer got auto inserted uh, onto the timeline uh, whenever uh, when we use the code snippets and I need to add uh, yet uh, some more uh, action script or code snippets so I'll choose the uh, btn1 instance uh, by selecting this uh, button going back into the actions panel selecting code snippets and uh, this time I'll uh, double click on mouse out event and uh, likewise I'll change this single statement to play so I want that whenever the uh, 
button is moused out or uh, the mouse pointer is off the button it should resume playing let me test the movie out by pressing control enter so this is beautifully uh, advancing to the next frame every single second let me mouse over so mouse over is a stop or a pause and mouse out is a play resume so guys I uh, achieved what I set out in the first place to do I hope you learned something new enjoyed it too you have a good time see you next time with yet another tutorial on Adobe Flash CS5 bye bye